Hello everyone, this is Rough Draft, and I thought we would play a more recent title today. We are playing Quantum Conundrum by Airtight Games and Square Enix. Mm. Uh, I've only played a little bit of it, and it looks pretty damn good, so I figured I'd give it a dang old shot. Dang old shot. I figured I'd give it a shot. Square Enix, yeah. Airtight Games. Quantum Conundrum. Sure. Once upon a time, that's how these things usually start, yes? A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. <laughs> she had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claimed. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my... Uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Mm -hmm. Now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was, in fact, a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Here we go. Well, let's see here. If I configure the trans-dimensional velocity regulator at approximately 0 0.887 microseconds past the... Oh, you're here? I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit... <laughs> indisposed at the moment. That doesn't sound good. If you take your luggage yeah. into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. Oh, you confounded machine. Ugh. What was that? Oh, good. That uh, should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. Now, where on earth did I put it? Why minute. put it all the way up there? Something isn't quite right here. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah! Ah, my luggage popped. Uh-oh. Shit, 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 shit. What happened? What just What's happened? going on? Oh, I'm screaming. Uh, not entirely afraid. sure where I am right now. Fear. The Acting. security uplink on my watch still seems to work, so I can see you yeah, and... Of course you can see me. Hello? You, you, you can hear me, right? Jump around a bit if you can. Ah! It seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Well, I most certainly can do better than this. Testing, testing, uh, yes. testing, testing, testing! There. Ha! Huh. Much better. Now, right, what in the world are you doing here? Were you supposed to be here today? No matter. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. Hmm. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then... I don't know. Oh, I do think Using Windows NT? No deadly. wonder he tripped up. Unfortunately, the front door will remain in lockdown. Oh my gosh. Until you can restore the power. Yeah, if you head over to my office slow. over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Uh. Throw that switch there. It should be the one. Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Just uh, take the glove in the box with you. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. 
What you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device, or IDS device for short. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. That's him. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. Handy. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> if you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. There's something I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. This door is using one of my inventions, the repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. Or a drinking bird. Except it's far more advanced. Uh, well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility oh, and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. This is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, which in this case is a fluffy dimension. In addition to Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is ten times lighter than normal. Though that looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. There's that lovely bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. Why is that? Something to note. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. Let me try that again. You remain constant. So no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. As I mentioned, Dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. Wow. This, thing really this is what enables down. you to slip nice. between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. <sighs> I don't know what the hell's causing that slow to down. I mean, it's stable at 30 frames per second, but... Ah, that's Dolly. Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. Oh, wow. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Whoa, shit! Uh, I'll need to tune that later. They also spun out a battery. Nice. Um... I'm going to I need this for some reason. Oh, yeah. Imagine. These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope yttrium aluminum garnet lasers using an alternating ray configuration. It gives them an extra kick. Oh, I'm sure it does. Yeah, what was that? Alright, um. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. Oh. 
Oh, that uh, creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity, or pipe. Oh, he's cute. Whoa. That's on. What the? Where'd it go? Oh. Two points. Oh, whoops. Two points. He shoots, he scores. Slowdowns, wow. Stop for a minute and take a look at the painting. Oh, of course. The machine I referred to as Dolly started out as a simple metal forge that had been in the family since medieval times. The original quadrangle suit of armor was actually constructed in this very forge. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. My great-grandfather modified the old forge so that if it had enough raw resources, it could craft steel objects autonomously. Huh. This predecessor to Dolly supplied all the materials needed to build the Underground Railroad. Really? This machine single-handedly won the Civil War. Huh. <laughs> not, not really. Oh. I made my own modifications to my great-grandfather's designs. The current Dolly specifications do not require any raw materials. For example, Dolly converts energy from the radioactive science juice directly into matter. Really? I never did sort out why she makes so many copies of things. Oh, well, you can never have too many safes or chairs or um, coffee tables. Interesting. Well, I think that's it for this episode of Quantum Conundrum. This is Rough Draft, signing out.